Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And today I'm lucky to collab with Katarina again, one of my great friends from Instagram. And she just got her new Tammy Tanuka order and we both have one of their new pigments called Thunderbolt. And we both decided to just collab on a look. We actually decided about that like <laughs> way before we got our orders because we both love the pigment and it's like really shifty. So. I guess I can just zoom you in and show you the pigment and how I did this look right here, which is my look with the pigment. I just got my book of shades out because I have a ton of shades in it that I brought for my vacation, which was a couple of weeks ago. And I just replaced one of the shades with the pigment that I will be using today, which is this one. And I'll just take it out so I can show you a little bit better. So here we have the shade Thunderbolt. As you can see, it is super sparkly, shifty. It's almost like a satin formula, but you can see the micro sparkles in it. And it has like a purple base, but the shift goes through like a tealish green to actually a quite strong blue. But yeah, you can like see it a little bit right here. And it's just so stunning and I have no idea what to do with this pigment right now because it's just so beautiful. <laughs> but I think I'll just go ahead and use the shadows that I have on this page in my book of shades and I will try to photograph this just to have for my Instagram and show you guys what kind of colors I used for my vacation because I have a few pages right here with like the shades that I wanted to use for my vacation but anyway I'm just going to I think grab out the shades that I will be using and show you. So I feel like the pigment is like a mix of blue and purple so i'm just going to go ahead and grab the teal shade that i have in my book of shades it's time travel by makeup geek it looks like this and it's a quite deep teal as you can see and i'm just gonna grab it and put it in the outer corner of my crease as usual i do have my nars smudge proof base and i'm just packing it on and slightly blending the edges I'm going to try to not make it too smoky today, so I think I'll stop right there. <laughs> to blend out the deepest shade, I'm going to take Give Me Glow in Brazilian Bikini and I'm using my Kaleidos Makeup S5 brush. I'm now taking Luxie Beauty Midnight Violet with this same a big brush and I'm just going to use it as a deepening shade for the inner corner of the crease. Now I'm going to take the shade Cassiopeia which is one of the old neons from Tar Moons with my Kaleidos Makeup S5 brush. I'm trying not to grab too much because these are so pigmented and I'm just going to use it to like blend out the purple in the inner corner right here. So as usual, I'm trying to like pack it right on top of where I did the blend and then slightly buff it out. Now I'm just taking that brush I used with a deeper shade and trying to work on the blending a little bit. So just taking a random blending brush with some setting powder and applying that right underneath my brow. So I feel like the blending does not look like that good in my monitor, but in real life it looks really nice. So I'm just going to go on and uh, of course now I did put on some glitter glue, so this is not how the blend actually looks. But I'm just going to overlap that uh, glitter glue with some of this gorgeous pigment. And I'm just going to take it all over my lid where I put the glitter glue. Just because I cut the crease quite far up, I feel like it would be nice to use a glitter liner on the cut crease. So I'm just going in with my ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed in Anomaly, which is like this silvery blue holographic glitter. So I'm just going to take a small brush. I think I'll just use the same that I used with my glitter glue and I'm just gonna make a line with the glitter right here and that's going to take like forever so 
I don't think I'm going to film the whole process, but I'm just going to basically overlap right at the edge here. I just added some glitter glue for my inner corner and I'm going to use this shade which is also from Tami Tanuka, but it's a highlighting shade called Pulsar. So I'm just going to take that with a brush like this. As you can see it has like this purpley blue shift to it and I'm just going to add that right here. So I'm just going to finish off my face makeup and I'll be back for the lower lash line. For my lower lash line, I'm just going to, of course, use that deepest shade just to connect. Then I'm going to take that same teal or turquoise, I don't know, <laughs> shade and I'm just going to blend a little bit. And I'm just going to use Cotton Candy Sky or something by Terra Moons, which is the blue uh, neon from their old neon collection. I'm just using that here to like to kind of like tie in the blue of this inner corner shade. Something like this and I think that's actually it for this look. So I'll finish off my mascara and stuff and I'll be back to show you the close up. So that is my finished look using the shade Thunderbolt and some other matte shades and personally I really love this look. I just love this combination of colors and yeah, this pigment is so so beautiful and I'm so happy I got it and I'm so glad Katarina wanted to do a collab with this pigment. As for the rest of my face, I ended up using my Nabla blush in Nectarine as well as my Luxy Beauty highlighter in the shade Halo which is my all-time favorite. And I used the LA Girl Neon Lip, no, not Lip Brown Liner, but the Shockwave Eyeliner in the shade Fresh for my waterline. But I think that is it for this video, so I hope that you like this look. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and just comment down below what you thought of it. And if you're not already, I would also really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. So hopefully I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oh,